I gave a lot from learning how to use my right foot. Because that wasn't that wasn't something for me when I was younger. I used to solely rely on my left foot, and I can understand why people do. But at the end of the day, it needs to be it needs to be done. Just learning new things, new, learning new tricks, learning just how to carry myself as well as a footballer. So that there were massive things for me that I learned from you when we were at that age as well. Yeah. Yeah. And, and again, just to reiterate uh, or echo what Liam's saying, I purposely set the time for nine o'clock and it was important for, for the boys to get up and on to training, at training, get to training, I should say, kind of get my words out on time before nine to, to prepare themselves mentally and physically before we started. And uh, it was about the discipline side of things. It was about just to see how hungry you guys were. And you guys were hungry. You got there with the right attitude, always before nine o'clock, always ready to, to, be, uh, to go through the, 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 the mental and physical demands that I was putting you through. Um, but again, as you said, it, 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 did, it did bear its fruits, I think, um, for, for all of you. Yeah, including yourself um, and I'm hoping that you do remember some some of the key messages from that um, can you remember what other things we covered um, at those sessions was it just about football Is no I wouldn't say it was ago? just about I'm really, I'm really yeah I'm trying here. to wrap my brain trying to wrap my brain back but I, um, I feel like it was it wasn't just about football but a lot of it was related to football but that you can carry in life so I don't think the message was just solely about football. I think I remember, I remember one time I swore. I, I remember one time I swore and Lionel, you caught me out, but then you told me not to use that language. And I just said, all right, all right cool. But then I think it was a thing of how, just how to carry yourself because you're not going to get anywhere bad mouthing people or Things like that. I just, I, I think the, the biggest thing was carrying myself, how to carry myself around in life, not just football. And that's that's a massive thing that I took with me. You made it, remember any of the homework? Yeah, I remember. That. I, I don't, I don't remember homework, <laughs> but I know there was. I, I can't, I can't wrap my brain back that far to remember. It was a long time the ago. That we was given. It, it's interesting when I was putting the uh, the video together and things. It think started to come back even for me and especially like I'm getting older yeah you know, memory keys it does go go on you. but things around you know balanced diets the importance of eating the right things the, the importance yeah. of the different food groups I'm not sure if you remember we we would discuss and you guys would have to go home and, and, and really understand um, as well as just just being aware of some of the injuries that you may come into contact with just through natural growth uh, like yeah. Osgood slatties and things like that. Those are the things yeah. that remind me that okay, yeah, uh, I I I was was on it from back then, even before I started big. And they were good kind of things to reminisce on, actually, because they were mm -hmm. part of my journey uh, towards big and beyond. Yeah. Um, uh, can I ask you? Do you think big has, and if so, how has big helped your football progress? Uh, in particular, any key messages that you can remember to help with your football progression that has stuck with you today? Um, my hunger. My hunger is a massive one. As you say, that we were up at, well, obviously for me, I was probably up about eight o'clock to get to training for nine o'clock. And I could have been doing a lot of things. I could have been doing everything that probably my, all my other friends were doing, but that was probably what separated me from them but separated all of us at the time from them yeah um totally. i think that was a massive thing to get there and to see how disciplined we were because it's as i say it's easy it's easy not to do it but it's just how hard you actually want to how hard you want to do it and how far you want to go because mm -hmm. it will it will benefit you later on you may not see it at the time and we probably we didn't see it at the time and yeah, I, I'm very sure that all of us would say, oh, we don't want to go. We don't want to go, this is long, but we did because we wanted it. We all wanted the same thing. Mm. So that's, 
that's what I carry with myself now. I just know that there was no way that I was doing that at nine o'clock when I'm 11, 12 and going through all of the hard things that I've gone through just to say, yeah, let me give up when it gets mm-hmm. hard. So it, yeah, that's what I've carried with myself because I've been on such a, such a emotional, physical and mental journey that there's no way that anything's going to stop me from getting where I want to be. And Big was a part of that. Massive, Big was a massive part of that for me to go through what we went through over the years. And now I carry, I still carry that till this day where I'm at. And that's never going to leave me. So that's a, that's something that I've carried along my whole journey in football and in life. I'm really proud to hear that because, I mean, we pride ourselves on trying to help, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, just, just trying to help the youngsters just to enhance that self-belief and, 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 and develop their self-esteem as well as resilience. You know, I always say when I'm coaching um, yeah. to the youngsters, remember the three Ps, you know. Uh, it's my old civil servant habit where I'm always using abbreviations. Um, yeah. But, you know, practice and persistence persistence and practice will always improve performance and you've got to just keep just if you don't work go and try again if you don't work go and try again you know and it's really quite heartwarming just to hear hear you say that's one of the things that you got from us um but i've got a, a few people waiting to ask you questions but before that i just wanted to and i'm going to show this while i'm asking the question um is there any other services that you have been involved in with big yeah well done work experience i will must have been about 17 i think it was about 17 17 18 no just before i was 18 we done work experience with you working with younger I kids i think it was a bit younger than that lee you think? i think you was about i think you was probably about 15 14 15 actually was it where was this at the school no, this is at Rosendale. I tend to do a lot of my holiday programs at Rosendale in Lambeth. And uh, oh no, I can't have been sixteen, seventeen. Then. Oh, no, no, this is like fourteen, fifteen, buddy. Um, yeah. What do you remember about that? I remember helping helping kids and enjoy this, enjoy, and help them achieve their dreams. Don't know if I don't know if I did, but. I hope I have. I hope I have helped some of them enjoy, um, chase their dream because I can remember being in their shoes, just wanting to play football and just loving football. Yeah. But I tried to teach them the less. I tried to teach them the lessons that you taught us when we was that age about and discipline think, and that. And go on. Sorry, I was just going to say, like, it, 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 it's, it's. Um, sorry to cut you there, but um, just like you. Yeah with your shoulder around this young man, um, Jeremiah. Uh, we've just finished a three yeah. weeks holiday program myself. And, you know, uh, Jeremiah was one of the work experience young men who um, was it? Was helping on the program. I remember, I remember him, you know. And I actually sent him that picture him. Uh, the other day just to say, you know, this, you actually was the person who won that trophy as you know we always give out trophies for winning the most points yeah. and uh young jeremiah there was was there with you uh and he was chuffed when i was yeah. telling him that so uh i'm glad i mean i think it's important just to give a bit back and you certainly yeah, was trying to inspire the youngsters and i'm and you're just being on this show is is has have been in, inspiring them i'm sure uh and without no further ado i'm going to actually ask um you to just answer a few questions. I'm going to admit them all. Um, if they can hear me, I'm hoping that you can have your cameras off so I can introduce you one by one to answer your questions. Um, I think it's very important for the youngsters just to be able to ask questions of... Um, yeah. I'm sure you agree. Um, so I'm going to first go to... Um, if I ask Jamila and Zach, if you can turn your cameras on um, and say hello to Liam. Say hello to Liam. And, Hi, Liam. Hi, Liam. 
Hello. Hello. Hello.